Good morning, I'm John Ellsworth with Success Strategies and today I want to talk to you about what happens when we wait too long on making decisions. If you think about that, that can have a real impact on your life, your business, and I, and I just want to spend a little bit of time talking about this. Uh, I am the founder of Success Strategies Incorporated and the uh, creator of the Success Strategies Advantage. Uh, and I have, frankly, I've spent the last 20 years working with clients to help them boost their ability to decide, to make decisions, to think things through, and then take concrete action to move forward. But have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're needing to make a decision, but you're sort of reluctant, or at least very hesitant to take the next step? Well, you know what? I think we all have been at some time. I have been as well. And I think it's important, particularly in a tough economy. And if you're in the dairy industry where I do a lot of work um, with clients, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, a lot of dairies today are trying to save money. And, and I understand why they're trying to save money. As long as we don't impact performance of, of the operation, I think we'll be okay with that. But if your accounts payable are climbing, if they're increasing, uh, what have we gained? I think ultimately we all need to stop and I call it do a reality check. We need to stop and face reality. Because remember, the best way to get out of a hole of any kind, whether it's literal hole that you're stuck in or a financial hole that you're, that you're digging, uh, is to stop digging. The best way out of a hole is to stop digging. And I'm going to talk about measuring, understanding, controlling, and improving a little later. But here's something I want you to think about. Here are some steps you can take to help you with your decision making and to keep you moving forward. Number one, I would say, get it together financially. And while that may sound difficult, may sound harsh, I don't mean to come across that way at all. What I'm talking about is doing a SWOT analysis. Knowing what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, what the opportunities are, that if there are any out there for you, and there probably are, and what your biggest threats are. And ultimately, all progress, uh, business coach Dan Sullivan says, all progress begins with telling the truth. And that's, and that's the truth here as well. Uh, number two, get the help that you need. I'll give you an address later that we can uh, refer to. Um, you can go to our website, success-strategies.com, and uh, you, can, you can find help there. There are tools there that can help you build a plan evaluate your current situation and get out of this rut. Uh, number three is just that step. Build your plan. Uh, first of all, you need to know what you want. I think if you ask people around the world, all over the world, uh, ask people what they want, 95% of them can't tell you what they want. But give them five minutes of time and they'll fill it completely with what they don't want. So ultimately, the key is shifting your focus somewhat and forgetting about, not forgetting about what we don't want, avoiding those things, but focusing, focusing, focusing on what we do want, what you do want to accomplish. Um, and then step number four, you measure results of your, of your plan versus the original plan. Are we doing okay? Do we need to adjust it as needed? Uh, and ultimately, as I said earlier, if you measure something you can understand it. If you understand something, you can control it. If you control something, if you can control something, you can improve it. That also came from Dan Sullivan and I think it's an excellent concept. Uh, he's with the strategic coach in Chicago and Toronto and I want to give him credit for that concept. Uh, number five, step number five, keep your lenders informed. I heard an interesting conversation between a client, not a client of mine, but another uh, person in agriculture who was um, borrowing money from his lender and was was complaining because the lender didn't seem to want to step up and do more. And the lender came back to him and said, you know, you have 65% loan to value. That means for every $100 of assets, he had a 65% or $65 loan against it. And, he, and the banker came back and said, look, you have $35 in 35% invested in this business, I and the bank have 65%. So who has the most at stake here? So rather than complaining,
think about a different way to do it, a better way. So, a couple things. Here's where, you, here's where you might mess up. And I'm not suggesting you will mess up, but it's potential stumbling blocks. Skipping steps is a problem. Um, skimming over some of these. And maybe not giving your full focus. Those are three things that can really mess you up. I would suggest that you check out success-strategies.com. Um, you will have, you will be, you will see an, an entire strategic game plan series there that will allow you to focus on the process. It'll take you through all these five steps that we talked about, and uh, I would suggest that you check it out. Uh, it has a step-by-step -step process. It's a $97 investment on your part. But frankly, I think it's a steal because you will have lifetime access to this. So you can go back and reuse it every year for the same $197 fee. Some may ask why. I think it's time to start asking why not. Why not spend some time on these things? This focus, shift your focus to thinking about not what we don't want, but what we do want. And this is the most proactive approach that I know to it. It's called the Strategic Game Plan Series. You will find it at success-strategies.com, our website. Uh, I want to honor you for listening today. Thank you for your time. And uh, I want you to know that I'll be cheering for you as you go through this process. Whether you use our program or just use these concepts on your own, uh, I would encourage you to do the small investment in ours to follow, to keep you on track, basically, is what I'm suggesting. Again, I'm John Ellsworth with Success Strategies and successstrategies.com, and I thank you for listening.